Hey, what up guys? Welcome back to my blockchain channel and today we're going to talk about Bitcoin Lightning. We're going to discuss what Bitcoin Lightning is, why is it important and uh, also how it can make Bitcoin ready for worldwide adoption and how it can make Bitcoin go mainstream. So let's get into it guys. But first, first we have a very, very important topic to discuss, guys. And the topic is that I've, I've, I've gotten some feedback that I say the word guys too much in my videos. And so I want to explain that I actually used it intentionally because when I say guys, it feels like I'm getting your attention. And, we, and when we talk about some complex uh, topics on the blockchain, I'm afraid to to lose your attention because th this ha happens to me often when I watch uh, technical videos online. It's it's easy to wander off and think of other things. And so when I say guys, it feels like I, I'm i keeping you interested in what I'm saying. However, however, I, I, I have been told that uh, this is annoying and that I should uh, say guys less. So I'm, I'm going to try to to keep it at a minimal level. And so uh, write your com <laughs> write your opinions in the comment section below. Should I say less uh, less guys or should I keep saying t guys? But so in this video we're going to say less uh, less guys. And, uh, and um, uh, so uh, I'm I'm going to try not to use it as much. So let's get into it guys. Bitcoin Lightning. W what is Bitcoin Lightning? Bitcoin Lightning is a technology that could make Bitcoin work faster. It could make Bitcoin scale and uh, make the whole improve Bitcoin in such a way that Bitcoin could handle uh, hundreds of thousands of transactions each second. So right now, Bitcoin can handle about seven transactions per second, which is really, really low compared to Visa or MasterCard, uh, who handle tens or hundreds of thousands transactions each second. So how can we go from seven transactions a second to a hundred transactions a second without having a central entity that controls where the funds go and without losing trust uh, among the nodes? Uh, so Bitcoin Lightning Network is a proposal that could make this happen. So how does it work? It works by you and I can send each other bitcoins on a channel that is off the blockchain. So we establish a channel between each other on the blockchain. So if we say that uh, this is a blockchain and we do a channel and we start communicating with each other and sending transactions to each other of the blockchain to people. So they can send the Bitcoin from here to here and maybe so this person sends back some Bitcoins and we can do hundreds of such transactions, uh, millions of such transactions without broadcasting it back to the blockchain. So as you can see guys, when we create this channel that, that is off of, uh, outside the blockchain, we can do any number of transactions without burdening the entire network. And so in their white paper, uh, the researchers who have proposed this idea uh, also, also describe the system in which I can send a transaction to some other person without uh, creating a direct connection to that other person. So let me explain, guys. Uh, <laughs> if I talk, if this is, this is me, and I talk to my friend, we can send transactions to each other of the blockchain. And so maybe my friend connects to this other person, uh, person C. So this makes it possible for me to send funds from me to person C via my friend. So I don't need to have a direct connection to person C. I can do it, uh, my, my funds, funds can go via my friend and then to person C. So it's a really good way to propagate funds through the network without establishing many direct connections, which also could burden uh, the whole uh, Lightning network. Uh, and this is comparable with how 
internet works today. When I send a packet, it, it can get routed through many different computers and uh, nodes. And uh, so, and the nodes don't really care where the packet is coming from and, and where it's going uh, in the final destination. They only care where they should send it next. And so the next person may, may send it somewhere else. And so this next person can send it somewhere else. And then it would finally arrive at the final destination. And so it's, uh, it's similarly to how Lightning Network would work. If I have a connection to my friend and my friend has a connection to someone else, I could send funds from me to someone else, this third person, via my friend. And my friend wouldn't even know if the funds are are intended to go to the person C or if person C is supposed to send the funds further to person D. The only thing that my friend's, friend knows is that she should send it further to person C. And so if the person C is the recipient, then the trans transaction is finished and can be broadcasted to the blockchain, to the original blockchain. And so as you, as you can imagine, guys, we can do millions of transactions uh, among each other without burdening the entire network. And this could really, really scale uh, the Bitcoin network and we could uh, start implementing micropayments. For example, a really good example given by Andreas, uh, the, Greek, the Greek guy who is a very uh, huge Bitcoin supporter and the, the, this guy is awesome. So and what Andreas uh, talks about is that we could receive uh, uh, our salary by the minute. So we establish a connection between the company and me and the company streams uh, the money minute by minute to to my wallet through this lightning channel and when uh, when a week passes or may maybe two weeks then we can broadcast this change to the original blockchain so we have created thousands of such small m m micro payments from my company to me without burdening the whole network so a question, a question you might ask guys is, can you really trust the, these intermediary people? So for example, if I want to send some funds from me to my friend uh, Carol, person C, Carol, and I want to send them through this intermediary person B, Bob. So say I have a, a channel from me to Bob and then Bob has a channel to Alice, uh, to Carol, to Carol. Uh, so Bob is B, Carol is C. And I'm sending my funds from myself to Carol. How can I trust Bob? Maybe Bob takes my money for himself uh, and doesn't send anything to Carol. So this is handled cryptographically and the transaction will be refunded back to me in if, Bo if Carol doesn't receive my transaction in a certain amount of time. So the worst thing that could happen to me in this Lightning Network is that some intermediary person who is unfaithful would uh, would hold my funds for a number of uh, days. And so after the, the, this number of days passes, I would get my funds refunded by the network, by the underlying protocol guys. Uh, and also another problem with this network is that people could do many channels, they could open and close channels instant instantaneously just to burden the network. And because this lightning network would run on top of the Bitcoin network, this really could cause the problems in the Bitcoin network. Because when we open a channel in the lightning network, we need to notify the, the real blockchain. And then only then we can do all these transactions uh, among each other. But as you can see, guys, in order to open a channel, we need to uh, broadcast this information to the main blockchain. And so if some uh, malicious person tries to uh, open and close uh, hundreds of channels a second or millions of channels a second, this could really burden the, the blockchain. So that is also a problem that they are working on. And so it would be it will be really really interesting to see where this project project ends and uh, what effect it will have on Bitcoin because I think this could really revolutionize how we use Bitcoin because. Uh, as we mentioned before, we have all, all these new possibilities with uh, sending microtransactions without burdening the network and without any uh, confirmation times. 
uh, and it's all uh, secured on the protocol level so we don't really need to trust the people in between if if we, i want to send uh, some funds from here to here and there are a lot of people in between i don't need to trust them because the system will uh, re refund my funds if if some of these people don't send send them further to the recipient and so that is how how it works guys lightning network is a layer on top of uh, the bitcoin uh, blockchain and it uses Bitcoin smart contracts and multi-signature transactions to make this level of, of abstraction with a Lightning Network. What do you think guys? Do you think Lightning Network will uh, revolutionize Bitcoin? Leave your comments and opinions in the comment section below guys. And if you are a new viewer and you like blockchain, you like Bitcoin, Ethereum, you like technology as a whole, you should definitely subscribe guys and because you will find this channel interesting i myself am a software developer <clears throat> and i post videos every every single day guys so definitely subscribe if you like those things uh, so today we talked about the lightning network uh, please comment if i should say more or less uh, the word guys should, should i say guys or do you find it annoying that that is a really interesting topic for me uh, and that's it guys i'll see you guys tomorrow